Okay, uh, mm -hmm. this is Warehouse by Dave Matthews Band. Um, it's one of the, uh, might be the first, no, Liner Grace is the first one. Um, but it's one of the uh, first songs that I learned for Dave Matthews, um, which is silly a little bit, um, just because there's much, uh, much easier songs by him, obviously. Um, and I learned it wrong, so... I had to relearn it in order for this video, which was good because I was playing it wrong. So, um, if it seems like it's a little not clean, it's because I hadn't been playing it this way for very long. Um, so the song goes like, goes like this. And this is, of course, that intro part when um, when he's playing with the band and, and it, all the instruments go. Um, um, Boyd goes, G -g 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 -g, you know, on the fiddle, and, and Dave goes, and then there's the pulse of light, and the crowd generally goes, whoa, whoa, and then finishes it out. And then once he actually goes into the verse, he just repeats this seven and nine bet root. Sorry, almost forgot I need to actually show you <laughs> what's going on here. It's a little early. Okay. Um, and again, apologize if I miss standing up. It'll probably be even more obvious that I haven't been playing this one for, for that long. The root of the situation, or the root of this progression, the verse progression is going to be seven on E. And then nine on A, okay. Um, and the whole uh, the whole thing I was doing then was moving from seven and nine down to five and seven. So the 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 um, the progression in terms of the frets you hit is going to be the same, except obviously two frets down for the for this part. So I'm just going to explain this one, and you can just repeat that same um, same effort down lower on the neck. So again, seven and nine. And then, um, kind of like with Satellite, where he does this two fret um, build each time, uh, E, A, D strings, he's going to do the same thing, except it's more of kind of a chord form, so he's going to go, okay? So again, two frets each time, 7, 9, and then 11 on D. And then you actually move behind, you can keep this um, ring finger down, and move behind on 7 on the G string <clears throat> with your index finger. Okay, so. And that next part is just um, a nine on D and then 10 nine on A. And then you repeat. One thing I would advise doing, um, so you can see this, is when you play at that stop mode, when you just go, you can downstroke that last note. But when I when you play it in the full verse mode, I think it's actually easier to upstroke that note so that you can get prepared for the nine ten nine. So like this. Okay, see how I'm up picking there. Those three notes I generally down pick, and sometimes I throw in a little extra. Anyway, that's the verse. Um, then when he goes to the um, leave all the lights on, the black cat changing colors, he's going to be down on five on E, seven this time on D. Okay, and he's going to be moving like this. So he's going to 
move from 5 on E to A. Then he's going to go down to 3, so it's a pretty, pretty stretched chord there. And then go back to that second chord, and then reset. Okay, so it's like... He throws in a little fanciness too. A lot of times it'll be like. And all I'm doing there is just kind of throwing in this little slide from um, four to five each time. Okay. And then. Um, First time he does that, he goes. And he goes back into the verse. Okay, but then the second time he goes through that part, he's gonna go into this other other little breakdown part, the um, um, the one that goes like. That, um, that part's pretty simple. The rhythm of it is um, probably the most challenging part, singing and playing the rhythm of it. Um, but you're going to be on 7, and now spacing, muting the A in the first chord, and then 9, 7E, 9D. Okay, so you just pick up and go to the A string, but you only hit it for one beat before you go back down before you go down to um, 911, back to 79, and then back to the root chord. So. And then he goes down to this A, or excuse me, G minor, up to A minor. And um, throughout the song, uh, that that the G to A might actually then jump to the. And then um, when he's ending the song, he's going to be doing something with the exact same rhythm as that last part. This time he's going to be going 7, E, 9 on A, and then he's going to jump up, jump the chord up uh, a string, 7, 9, A, D. Then he's going to go down to 2 and 4, 2 and 4, E, A. So it's like this. I think he might go back in the verse one last time. And then the way he ends the song is he does an A, G, F sharp, F. Then he does this chord. It's kind of a crazy little two on A. You're also going to be you're going to be hitting any any string you're not fretting, you're going to be hitting it open. So two on A, four on D, two, one on G. I didn't hit that so clean, but... Anyway, you, I'm struggling. That's how it finishes the song. So that's Warehouse.